Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we will be discussing a topic that is important for many of us: the signs of a potassium deficiency and what to do about it. You may not know it, but potassium is a vital element for our body's health. Not only does it help keep your muscles, glands and organs working the way they should, but it also helps your cells pass vital nutrients in and out. And if you are not getting enough of it, you can experience an array of symptoms. So, what are the signs of potassium deficiency? Let's take a look. Number 1, fatigue and weakness. A lack of potassium can lead to fatigue and weakness as your muscles need the potassium to stay healthy. Number 2, muscle cramps. Muscle cramps are also very common. as potassium helps your muscles relax and recover number 3 nausea and vomiting a lack of this mineral can also cause nausea and vomiting number 4 heart palpitations potassium deficiency can also lead to heart palpitations as the mineral is essential for proper heart function number 5 breathing difficulties potassium is necessary for your lungs to function properly and a lack of it can lead to breathing problems number 6 low blood pressure low blood pressure is also a symptom of potassium deficiency number 7 constipation potassium helps your digestive system process food effectively so a lack of potassium can cause constipation number 8 changes in skin color a deficiency in this mineral can also lead to changes in skin color as the element helps your cells process vital nutrients so if you start to experience any of these symptoms you should make sure to have your potassium levels checked by a doctor now thankfully there are a few ways that you can make sure you are getting enough potassium eating a diet rich in potassium filled foods is a great way to increase your intake of this mineral foods like sweet potatoes bananas and avocado are all packed with potassium on top of that you can also take supplements potassium supplements are a great way to get the mineral if you don't get enough through whole foods but always talk to your doctor before taking any kind of supplement well that's all for today we hope that this video has been helpful in shedding light on the signs of potassium deficiency and how you can prevent it we will see you next time Take care. Bye-bye.